Hey everyone, my name is John Ferguson. I'm the CEO of Saxon Aerospace uh, here in, in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, I'm not normally a TikTok kind of a guy. I like watching this stuff every, every once in a while. Um, but I'm a manufacturer of uh, unmanned aircraft, military grade unmanned aircraft, as you can see one of my systems here. Um, there's all of these mysterious drones going on off the East Coast, and as a as a professional, as a subject matter expert, I wanted to give you all my opinion on what I think could be going on with these drones. Uh, I don't particularly believe that these have a nefarious intent. I, I could be wrong, but I want to give you the truth and what I believe. It's my own opinion, and I've not bounced this off of anybody, so, you know, if you think it's bullshit, whatever, that's cool. You know, I, I don't want to spread misinformation as we know that there's a lot of that going around. But anyway, uh, back in the 1980s, Ronald Reagan had dismantled the uh, uh, nuclear program. And there were, uh, with Russia, there were countless uh, nuclear missiles that were that were disarmed and disposed of. Well... There were over 80, I believe, there were over 80 uh, nuclear warheads th that were in Ukraine that came up missing, okay? Uh, we don't know where they are. Maybe somebody does, but uh, nobody really knows where these are. And I, you know, I speak with some pretty high-level government officials on this stuff, and it seems as though that is the case. Um, so... I spoke to a gentleman uh, a few months ago who was trying to raise an alarm to the highest levels of our government, which they had their ears closed, um, about this one particular nuclear warhead that he physically put his hands on. He physically touched this warhead that was left over from Ukraine. And he knew that that thing was headed towards the United States. Okay. Um, that is a very serious deal. And everyone knows that the United States government, this administration, is pushing to get into a war with Russia. Uh, we all know that. We all feel it. We all see it. Okay? We'll back up a few years. Do you all remember when those drones were mysteriously flying across the Interstate 70 corridor? from Colorado up into Nebraska, down here into Kansas, and out into Missouri. Well, it was believed that those drones were looking for radioactive material because there had been some material that came up missing here in the United States, and they felt like it was a uh, high probability that it would the nuclear or the radioactive material would be taken along the Interstate 70 corridor heading east or west or south. So I, from what we understand, they were out there trying to find this radioactive material. Now, drones, they have no reason to be in the air at night unless you're doing some type of ISR work, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance, you know, looking for bad guys or looking for... Uh, um, a victim, a search and rescue victim, or law enforcement, or some type of military um, project, right? There's no reason for a drone to be flying at night, really, okay? Because they don't see shit. <laughs> so, you know, unless you have thermal optics, drones really don't see stuff. You need to do mapping during the day. If you're going to do farming stuff, mostly do it during the day. The only reason why you would ever fly an aircraft, an unmanned aircraft at night, is if you're looking for something, whether it be a person or trying to smell gas. We have methane gas detection, de detection systems uh, uh, that, can, that can detect gas leaks and pipelines. You really wouldn't use thermal optics for trying to find gas leaks just simply because the only way you're actually going to find a gas leak with thermal optics is if the gas leak is aggressive enough that it has a difference in temperature. Because radio uh, thermal imaging 
it it creates a digital image based off of the temperature variance. So whatever is different in temperature, it creates an image. Gas, usually gas leaks so slow that it goes quickly into ambient bef you know, before you can even see it. So we have special sensors that can detect gas leaks. We also have special sensors that can detect radioactive material. So uh, with this gentleman that I had uh, spoken with who was trying to raise the alarm to try to get somebody in the government to say, hey, we need to work together to go try to find this nuclear warhead, none of that ever happened. They knew that warhead was on its way to the United States. That's all that ever came of it. Nothing ever happened. This government did not do anything at all to help this gentleman raise the alarm and raise awareness that there is a very uh, deadly weapon on its way to the United States. It's out there. Nobody knows where it's at now. It, it left Europe. Now it's gone. So my guess, my own guess, is that these drones are not nefarious in intent. If they are, they are, but I doubt it. Um, but if they are, are drones, the only reason why they would be flying and flying that low is because they're trying to smell something on the ground. That's it. There's no other reason for a drone to be flying in the air other than to piss a bunch of people off at night. That's it. So, my belief is they're trying to smell something on the ground. Gas leaks, radioactive material, whatever. So, and do I think that, uh, that they're coming up out of the ocean? No, I don't think so. Uh, drones that are multi-copter type drones, not the, not the, you know, the, the fixed wing aircraft that look like regular airplanes, but the multi-copters, you know, they only have so much battery life. They have hybrid versions that are gas powered with electric, uh, but those can still only fly for a short period of time. There's no way in hell that any drone is going to go miles off the, off the coast as a multi-copter and fly into the interior of the United States and do a bunch of work and then turn around and fly back. It's just physics will not allow that to happen. So these drones, I believe, are launched from an, um, a location that nobody knows, but I do believe that, that they're flying low enough that they're just trying to sniff the ground and try to find something. So again, uh, I hate to be a pessimist or a guy that thinks you know directly to the negative. However, I do I know as as a professional, I mean, we build professional stuff for the military. You know, I believe that they're actually out there trying to smell something that's very important. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think of this video. I'm not trying to gaslight. I'm not trying to scare people. I'm just trying to let people know that this is a serious deal. Um, there, it's it's only serious for what the potential could be, you know, or for what the potential is. You know, there's a lot of them out there. They're flying all over. They're flying low. They're flying at night. There's no reason for it other than to smell something. So anyway, God bless. I hope you all have a wonderful Merry Christmas. And let me know what you think of the video. Thank you.